Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to fix a problem. I've simply gotten tired of dealing with it, and this is the problem. So, one of the challenges I have here on the 3040 is the stepper motor is actually at the back of the machine. And now, one of the things, I'm going to pan you guys up here so you can kind of see this. So, if you can see on the top here, it has a now um, thumb screw or finger wheel, if you will, that I can use to adjust the positioning on the spindle. And I have one also over here, I don't know if it's getting in, but there's also one on the side for the um, the x-axis, but the y-axis has, it's way in the back against the wall, in, in the back way over there, I'll pan you guys over, way in the back, and so I gotta reach my hand, and it's just not safe, it's not a good way to do it. So I want a simple solution, there's, <clears throat> excuse me, and there's not much here to deal with except this nut. Now it actually does turn easy enough where I can kind of sort of grab this nut and turn it and make it move. And if I pan you down so you can see what the heck I'm doing, that would probably help. Um, but here, if I turn this, and, and so what I've decided to do is come up with a 3D printed finger wheel to go on here and allow me to, um, you know, adjust the gantry with this. So, tell you what, so you see my problem, my dilemma, I'm going to use the 3D printer to solve it. So let's go ahead, jump into the computer, we're going to come up with a solution, uh, and we're going to print it out, and then we're going to install it on the machine. So if you've got a 3040 and you're having this type of problem, I'll also have this up on Thingiverse once done. You can go ahead and do the same thing that I did if you're interested. So let's jump into the computer, and then uh, we'll meet back here after it's all done. Okay, so as mentioned uh, at the onset, I hopped into uh, Thingiverse and took a look for a knob, and this is what I came up with. So I think this pretty much fit the bill. So it's a, it's a finger wheel, so it's pretty much what we're looking for. And it, this also is a customizer, so it is written in OpenSCAD, and you can kind of see some of the renderings here uh, from OpenSCAD. And it allows us to kind of reshape this. Now, this isn't going to come out exactly what I want, but I'm more so looking for something simply to create uh, the shouldered configuration here. And the opening is designed to receive a metric bolt if we go into the customizer. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the customizer component. Um, so we have the ability to render, and then this apparently is, you know, fine uh, middle or coarse, and I'm sure that this is um, on the number of facets. So I've chosen fine. Now, one of the things this does is assumes a thread size for pass for its pass through opening, and then I'm assuming that um, the uh, developer of this is uh, taken into account uh, some sort of nut configuration. So you see the opening here. And then if we go back down and around, you see that there's an opening for a nut. Now, if, if I knew what size nut this would be, that, that would be fine. And if I wanted the hole for the pass-through, that would be fine. Um, however, since I don't, I'm going to have to do some modifications. So what I did is I just left this at M8 uh, and, and used that size. Now, one of the other things is if I turn off shoulder, no shoulder, watch what happens over here. So it becomes a flat nut, or it, I shouldn't say a flat nut, but a pretty flat finger wheel so I have left shoulders on and I have uh, turned said drain to no and then so example what if we look at the bottom here it's going to be flat where rather than if I turn drain on you see how it has this recessed opening so I don't want this recessed opening uh, I just want it to be flat so I've set this to no so I've gone ahead and I've created the thing as it is and I've already downloaded it and let it create and so what I've done now is I've taken this into, imported it into Tinkercad. And you can see here the magenta uh, finger wheel here is my original importation. And what I've done is I've taken a uh, cylinder and inserted a cylinder into the center. Now what this is going to do is cover in the uh, nut opening as well as the hole in the back because I want it solid. And you can see the resulting um, finger wheel over here what it looks like so and I now have a solid finger wheel there and then now what I've done is I've taken a polygon and inserted it for the nut to create my own nut size configuration which I've measured on the uh, 3040 uh, which is uh, 12 by 13 9 and I do want it rather tight because I probably heat up the nut press fit it on and then we'll talk about that when we get on the machine how we're going to attach it 
The final piece is I've made it a little bit uh, proud with a recess into the uh, finger wheel with this cylinder here to allow a little bit of rod that passes through the nut to uh, enter into the, the cover so I can get it all the way on to the um, nut assembly. And again, you can see the piece here. So now what I'm going to do is I've sent this off to the printer. I'm going to print this in the Watt How and Clear PLA. So let's go take a quick look and then we'll meet back at the machine and we'll look at assembling this. Welcome back. We've installed the knob on 3040 here and uh, very nice fit. Again, this is designed to be a press fit, so it's going to take a little bit to put it on. I could push it on a little bit, but then what I did and what I want to share is I took this thin piece of plywood and a ball peen hammer and then simply tapped it on. Uh, went on there very nice. I printed this out of PLA. You could do ABS. ABS would probably expand a little bit more, uh, but again, the PLA done, it has done a fantastic job of fitting out here. And again, I can spin this around very happy with it. A nice addition to this uh, 3040. I believe it'll probably work if you have a 3020 or 3060. I think the, the size of lead screw and nut are about the same. Um, the idea will definitely work on those as well as I think the actual nut will. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. I know this has been a little bit of a handy addition. And hey, if you got a 3040, 20, or 60 let me know in the comments below if there's something particularly you'd like to see because I gotta tell you what I am really loving this machine I had the probiotic for quite some time about eight years I bought one of the first ones that came out uh, but it, with the with the water-cooled DC spindle I think it's actually still AC but the water-cooled spindle super quiet super nice to work with been very happy with it have read a lot of mixed reviews before I purchased this on the internet but I am really happy I did um, so very supportive of this. Anyways, if you found this interesting, you'd like to see something else, again, let me know in the uh, comments below. Uh, also, give it a big thumbs up. I know I have because this has been enjoyable. I'll have this out on Thingiverse. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It's going to be coming up over there. Also, I have other videos in the series, uh, uh, the 3040 series, uh, if you're interested. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.